This is Japan, a land of ancient beliefs and customs. Here, people respect the forces of nature, both external and internal. In an attempt to harness these forces, the martial arts were developed, not just as sport, but as a way of life. In Japan, this man is known as Take Sensei, the samurai master. He's a six-degree black belt in the martial art of Aikido, one of only a handful of people in the entire world to reach this level. He's an expert in the culture and philosophy of Japan, but he wasn't born there. His name is Steve Siegel, and he was born in Detroit. Ironically, it all began for Steve in an American way when he saw an Aikido demonstration during halftime of a football game. Well, I was there back in Michigan and uh, saw a particular demonstration of a little old man uh, holding off several attackers with almost no effort at all. And I was so excited and so flabbergasted at this great demonstration. I was maybe six years old at the time. I knew that that was what I wanted to do with my life. In spite of how it may appear, Aikido is called the gentle martial art. Unlike karate, there is no blocking, kicking, or punching. Aikido uses the force of the attacker and turns it back against him. The moves are subtle, taking advantage of angles, leverage, and pressure points. The object of Aikido is to avoid collision and turn a violent situation into one of harmony. There is no resistance, there is no conquering, there is no killing, there is no winning. In the universe, in nature, it's all something that's taken care of within itself. It's, it's all a balance. Steve is the only white man ever to achieve master status in Aikido. He moved to Japan to study 15 years ago, but acceptance by the great teachers was a long struggle. However, Steve persevered, and by 1974, he owned his own dojo or school in Osaka. Today, at age 34, he's returned to the United States to open a school here in Los Angeles. I guess about three years ago, I met Steve Siegel. We became very fast, close friends ever since then. And, uh, uh, he's one of the few masters I've ever met, and to be a master at such a young age is... Uh, uh, very fortunate for all of us because he can bring his gifts, technique, talent, and his great life force to us. Indeed, the most important concept in Aikido is harnessing of this life force called Ki. This is accomplished by combining physical, mental, and spiritual discipline. Once this energy is harnessed, it gives the master an almost magical power. This is Steve's master, Yoshiba Morahe, founder of Modern Aikido. Even in his late 80s, his power was legendary. Yoshiba Morihe did things that I, to this day, still think are magic. I don't understand how he did it. He'd take a six-foot uh, staff out to the side of his arm, and he'd have four or five people pushing on it as hard as they could, out like this, and they couldn't budge it. He would throw people without touching them across the room. It's like watching a magician do something that looks magical. It's, the angles are so subtle and, and tricky that it's almost like a kind of a sleight of hand. Nobody can understand what happened or how it happened a lot of times. At Steve's new Los Angeles school, he plans to teach a pure traditional form of Aikido. One that includes related arts like calligraphy, acupuncture, and sword techniques. Certainly, Steve possesses many impressive talents, but he was yet to face one truly great samurai. He probably wanted to know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I might go for your head or yeah, something. Yeah, and fine. From here, I have another tip. Yeah, and I will go for his head. If I didn't want to hurt you, yeah. as soon as your head comes down here, I would just take you like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I can feel that one. That's good. 
What you do looks very brutal. I mean, it's very, it looks very hard, and it also looks very dangerous. I, am I wrong about that? What I do with a black belt, for example, might look brutal and um, dangerous. Of course, I'm sure that it does hurt, and that pain is part of a process that he has to go through in order to be strong. Anything that you have to do in life, it requires, it requires a lot of work. And you're going to always have to deal with problems in life. You're going to always have to deal with people who are not going to want to deal with you on the up and up. And what Aikido does is it helps you find the point of least resistance, find the harmony.